Happy Tuesday. Welcome to the Fearless Morning Show. Where we are having confessions and conversations about your everyday life. And my name is Yamitra Jojo Water, the only Live Past Crazy Special. So what better place to be than here with me? Hope you guys are ready to get this morning started. It's going to be an amazing Tuesday. Okay, it's, it's going to be a great day. We woke up, we are alive and well, and that's all that matters. We may be running a little late, but we're here. Good morning. I hope you guys enjoyed the show yesterday. We talked about the invisible road um, and the importance of understanding that you're on the right path. And if you don't, that's what your friends are for. So, um, that's what if you missed the show yesterday, please make sure you go back and check it out. I'm trying to load the YouTube channel for you guys. Um, because if your friends and family do not have Facebook, don't forget we do have a YouTube channel with over, I think we have 300, over 300 shows over there. So you can binge watch all the Feel This Morning shows. And um, you can share them with your friends and family. All right, guys, let me get, I'm going to share the page with you. Hold on one second. Share the I'm going to share one of last week's videos to see if I can get it for you guys so that you'll know where the YouTube page is because I don't have my laptop with me. All right, let's go straight into the quote of the day. The quote of the day, if you are born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. I like that. If you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. So yesterday we talked about we were on the invisible road and understanding that we're here, but we're going here and the things that we need to uh, seek out or understand um, along the journey that sometimes we may not see the answer. Um, but today, <clears throat> it goes along with the quote, if you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. If you... Accept the fact that you, so let's go back to my man, Grant Cardone, who says we're doing more damage by living small than we are by living great. Meaning if we are constantly pushing ourselves down into something smaller instead of living to the greatness that we're supposed to be, that we're doing more damage to our family. We're doing more damage to ourselves. Um, I know I was guilty of that a lot. Uh, because I didn't want to, and there's nothing wrong with saying you want to do more, you want to be greater, you want to be better, you just got to check your ego with it, but there's nothing that wrong with saying you want better for you, your children, your mama, your life. And when we choose not to acknowledge that, then the damage that we're doing, because we may not want to acknowledge because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, we don't want to... Uh, upset them or feel like make them feel like we're better than them or do something different from them because they've been doing it their their entire lives so we don't want to challenge that and so sometimes that's why we don't go on to do greater things um and if y'all with me a couple of weeks ago i talked about you you've got to love yourself to your faith level and not to other people your friends and family have loved you to their faith level and so if your faith is to do something more you got to love yourself to your faith level and not theirs and so this quote goes hand in hand if you're born without wings do nothing to prevent them from growing that simply means allow yourself to grow allow yourself the freedom to explore yourself allow yourself the freedom to express yourself allow yourself the freedom to be outside of what everybody's definition of you is. Um, and when you do that, y'all, I'm telling you, that stress you carry, like my stress is here. I always have my stress here. But when I let go of the boxes that people put me in, then it became easier for me to express myself. Then it became, I was a lot freer to be who I really want it to be because you know who you really want to be, you know, right there as you're waking up and 
right when you go to sleep in that twilight where your mind is really free of all inhibitions and, and it's free of all the the things that you you know your mama your daddy your sister brother, and it's free of all those titles right there where your mind is the clearest and you have the truest thoughts of yourself and you have that for real talk with yourself you have that freedom all the time when you stop subscribing to the boxes that people put you in that was a hard one that was so hard for me to step outside of but if you're born without wings do nothing prevent them from growing and that simply means allow yourself the freedom and the space to grow and do and if you follow grant cardone um if you don't he, he's a little bit cusser just like uh gary v they cuss a little bit so if you don't mind the cusser but he said you do more damage by stuffing yourself into smallness than you do by just admitting you're supposed to be great you're supposed to do amazing things and you're not helping your friend you're not helping your family by continuing to live small i'm not helping anybody if i can't get past my own crazy i'm not helping anybody if i don't stay true to myself or if i'm helping them i'm helping them but not fully i'm helping them to an extent but not helping them all the way. And this is a journey for everybody, um, for everybody to take. I don't think the journey ever ends. I think there's peaks and valleys of the journey and that I can say I'm the only live past crazy specialist because I've lived in crazy and I've got past some things. That doesn't mean crazy doesn't continue. It simply means now I'm more aware of it. I can address it, redirect it, and move past it a lot faster than when I used to. But on this journey, if you're born without wings, do not prevent them to grow. You've got to love yourself to your faith level and not to somebody else's faith level. And when I figured that out, then I, it made it easier for me to grow. That because my mama, sister, friends, they could only love me to their faith level, meaning their faith took them just to here, right? But if my faith level is up here, I can't stop here. And if I stop here on their faith level, this is where the traction comes in. This is where the um, the confusion comes in. This is where you don't understand things. It's because you are trying to stuff your smallness into their version of their faith. And you were never meant to be there. You were meant to grow. Period. Some people... Uh, I never wanted to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fell upon me. Y'all know I was stuck on that quote for like a month, and I love it. Some people were never meant to be, to have the roar of the lion. They just never were. Some people were merely meant to come together collaboratively to have the louder voice. And then there's some of us who are meant to be the lion's roar, meaning it's that small thing that won't leave you alone that you have to say something. It's the whisper that turns into a shout. It's the shout that turns into a roar. And it's the roar that turns into a statement that says what you are, period. And so if your roar is a statement, some people don't even have that. And you can't get angry with them because they, they're going to their faith level and not your faith level. Good morning, my friend. How are you? I talk about you all the time to my girls. I cannot wait. I need to email you. I can't wait to talk to you. And so we, we can't feel bad when, and we can't get upset and we can't get offended when people love us to their faith level because that's all they got. And so we've got to love ourselves to our faith level. And then with that, we are breaking free of the boxes that we are trying to fit ourselves. Because a lot of times we try to fit ourselves into the box that our loved ones have because we want to be with them. You know, the person you love the most, but their box is tiny and and your wings are pressing against the box. But because you love them, you, you're trying to stay there. You were never meant to stay there. That's, that's not your fault. It's not anybody being any better than anybody else. It's your faith level is different. And the more you try to fit your smallness into their box, the harder it's going to be for you to live life. The harder it's going to be for you to understand their thought process the angrier you're going to get, the madder you're going to get. And it's because you were never meant to be on that level. You were meant to be on a different level. And you've got to be okay with that. You've got to be okay with it. And you've got to be okay with receiving 
all the things that come along with you being on a different level. Because you may say you want it, <laughs> but they're responsible. Not only their responsibilities that come with living true to your calling. Thank you, Michael. How are you being? I appreciate you. That when you, when you're living true to your core and your purpose and who you who you are and what you're supposed to be, there are different um, levels of growth to it, and there's different levels of understanding that you have to be willing and different blessings that you have to be willing to receive in order to get there. And if your mind is not open to receive those things, then it's harder to it's hard to stay where you're at. But you don't know how to go forward because you don't know how to receive it. And so it all has to kind of work together. So on this road, on this Be Fearless journey, on this road to live past crazy, you've got to understand that you've got to acknowledge your greatness. You're doing more harm than good if you're staying small. If you're born without wings, don't prevent them from growing. So don't stop your growth. Allow it to come. Receive it. And then accept it. Make room for the blessings that you say you want. So if you're going to pray for the answer, if you're going to pray for God to make a way, then you've got to be willing to let go of some things so that the answer can come so that you can receive it. Otherwise, you're just going to be, you know, a little frustrated. And on the 15th, I'm looking back on my sticky notes. On July 15th, we talked about the guidance of truth, freedom, peace, directive, and direction. Um, if y'all missed that show, go back and check it July 15th where I got my whole life, my, myself, the guidance of truth and your guidance of your truth is going to give you freedom, peace, and it's also going to give you directive and direction. Now, sometimes with this truth, y'all, it's hard to accept, <laughs> meaning it may, we talk about truth all the time, but sometimes the truth that you have to acknowledge may not be the truth that you are trying to sell yourself. The truth you have to acknowledge may not be the truth that you're trying to sell yourself. And then you have to think about what are you going to do with that? How, what decision are you going to make with that? Today's quote, if you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. Love yourself to your faith level and not somebody else's faith level. And then the freedom is going to come. Then the peace is going to come. Then the truth that you're that you think you know is really going to come because right now you may have the truth of your preconceived ideas and notions and then there may be a different truth that you may come to later once you start on this journey because you're doing more damage to stuff yourself into less than it is to live great that is it for this wonderful Tuesday morning. I'm trying to keep the sh shows short. So, because usually, y'all, we be on here to 8 o'clock. And I know we all have things to do. I appreciate everybody coming on to watch the Fearless Morning Show every morning. I greatly appreciate you so very much. Um, today's thought, if you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. Love yourself to your faith level and not somebody else's faith level. And it's okay it's okay to acknowledge or admit that your mother's love took you so far. It's okay to acknowledge and admit that daddy's love took you so far. And that's a wonderful thing. They brought you as far as they could bring you. Now it's your turn to go another faith level. That's that's the whole point. That's the whole circle of life, right? Is to go higher and to go different than the ones who brought you. And it's not out of disrespect because we respect our elders and we respect what our parents gave us. And they gave us the foundation that we need to continue to move and to build on. And so it's not disrespect when you decide to do something different. It's not. So today, guys, live true. Admit your greatness. Live true to it. Stop allowing yourself not to grow. Stop allowing that. Because some of us, you have that great idea. Oh my God, I can't wait to do that. And then as soon as that idea or that thought process hits you, you stop. Why? If you are born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. Stop stopping yourself from growing. Why would we do that? 
And I, and I think we do it inadvertently. I think we do it. I think we stop ourselves from growing because we don't want to offend our family and our friends. We stop ourselves from growing because we, we want to stay on the same level as them because we love them. But we can't help them if we stay on the same level as them. I can't be my sister's keeper if I'm here with you. I've got, and if y'all missed my boat story where I took a little lifeboat out into the middle of the Caribbean and the Atlantic Ocean, y'all, life changing. And I realized in order for me, the, the, the driver of the boat said, if you just stay in the, the path that I've made in the water, that's what he said, I can get you to your destination safely. Now, I left the security of the land for a little tiny boat. And I'm in the boat and the waves are coming and they're hitting hard and we're, and we're going fast. Good morning, courage. And we're going so fast. And at one point, I can't even see the man in the front. But he said, if you just follow the white, the space that I left for you in the water, if you stay on that, I'm going to get you to your destination. He said, but if you get out of the lane that I've created for you, it's going to be bumpy and rocky and your road, your, your ride is going to be hard. But if you stay in that lane, and then he said, even if you can't see me, the ones in front of you are going to give you signals to let you know you're on the right path. Stop, go forward, you know, go forward, slow down. And so I can't be my sister's keeper if I'm never going to leave sight of the shore. And then I've got to go and make the way so that when I come back and I reach the destination, I can say, sister, here are the steps that you need to take to live past crazy. This is what you need to do. And if you just follow that, and then if you don't see me because I've got to go ahead, because this guy went ahead and prepared the destination. We went to three islands in San Juan and he had to go and prepare the destination. And then he said, if you don't see me, my sisters, if you don't see me, look at the other sisters around you who are giving you the signal of where you need to go. Y'all got my whole life out there in that water. And then when we got to our destination he was the main guy and then we hooked ourselves to him and we rested and we played in the water and we ate and we had a good time he said okay now that's where you came from but look where you're going and he kept on and we lost sight of him again but if we knew if we stayed in that path that we won't get to our destination a to the man a man so you can't be the leader for your family if you stay where you are you cannot. Somebody's got to go ahead and make the way, Jesus. Somebody's got to go ahead and, and make the path for the sister. Somebody's got to go ahead and make the path for the brother. And you trying to convince yourself that you're not as great, that you're not as amazing, is doing more harm than good. The boat's not moving. The family's not moving. The generation is not moving. You may not have wanted to be the lion, but the lion's roar has fell upon you. That simply means you may not have wanted to be the one that's going to change your family, but it's on you to do it. And it's not going to leave you alone. And you staying where you at is not going to help them. It's not going to help you. In fact, it's going to hinder them because you are doing more damage, way more damage, living small, and not following your path, then you are staying with them and sympathizing. There's a difference between being, being sympathetic and empathetic. And I can be here with you, sister, but I'm not meant to stay here with you. And once you accept and receive that that's what you're supposed to be doing, like for me to help my sister, I've got to love me on my faith level, sister. I can't love you. I can't love me on your faith level because your faith level is keeping us here. And I'm trying to take us here. And that means I've got to love myself to this faith level so that I can go and take us where we need to be. And be okay with your mama or your sister or brother that their faith level is here. You got to be okay that their faith level is here, but you want to love yourself to your faith level. If you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. You're going to have to grow and you've got to be okay with leaving your current environment, your current situation, and you've got to accept the greatness that is you. And until you do that, sisters, the struggle is hard. It's because you're constantly fighting. <laughs> it's hard because 
you're you're trying to be small when you meant to be great and so you have wings that are stuffed into this little tiny box and it hurts and it's aggravating it's frustrating and and you don't know which way to go and you don't you don't know the answer because that's not your level and what are you teaching your children what are you teaching your family what are you teaching yourself when you choose to live smaller than greater are you teaching your children yes you you can shine great but don't do it outside of anybody else's box. Stay in the box that they put you in. You're not offending anyone if you allow your wings to grow. You're not offending anyone if you continue on to be great and amazing. That's what the good Lord would want. He didn't put you here to just to be. Religion gives you something to do. Spirituality gives you something to be. So that is it for the fearless style of the day. If you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. And I don't know whose quote that is. It says Chanel, but I don't know. If you're born without wings, do nothing to prevent them from growing. Allow yourself to grow. On this Take Action Tuesday, allow yourself to grow. Think outside the box. Allow yourself the freedom to ask for things here. Not ask for things here and accept them here. Because the, the book says we can come boldly. And it says, how much more pleasure, if he takes care of the birds and the fowls of the air, how much more pleasure does it give him to give to us? And if I'm a king's kid and I live inside the kingdom of God, and the king's responsibility for the kingdom is to take care of the citizens inside of the kingdom, that means I have citizenship rights. That means I'm used to a certain lifestyle that the king prepares for me. So why would I accept less than me being a king's daughter. You're doing more damage than good by living small. You're doing more damage than good than living small. And you've got to love yourself to your faith level. You can't love yourself to somebody else's faith level. Your mama's faith level brought you to church. Your faith level going to help you build the church. You have your children's faith level is to hear, and theirs may be above yours. And it's okay. Allow them to be great. Allow your wings to grow. Allow your wings to grow. It's okay. Don't do more damage than good thinking you're doing good. Love yourself to your faith level. And my sister and my brother, you are the leader for your family. Go and make the way. And Leave them the steps that they need to get to where they need to go. All right, guys, that is it for the Fearless Morning Show. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday. Please make sure you share the show because sharing is caring. If your friends and family do not have Facebook, don't forget we do have a YouTube channel with over 300 shows over there. And they are by topic and by title. Uh, so you can binge watch all the Fearless Morning Show. So you guys go back and watch the one where I was in San Juan and um, about the boat ride and the things that I learned on the water. It was amazing. And this is coming from a woman who was petrified of water. Petrified. And then here I am out in the middle of an ocean in a boat the same length as me. I'm 5'2". The boat might have been 5'6". And I got my whole life out there. I'm telling you. I don't even want to talk about it because every time I talk about it, I cry. Please go watch that video. Um... In San Juan, I found some more freedom that I didn't even know that I needed. And it gave me the freedom to, to continue on, on my faith level and not somebody else's faith level. Not that their faith level is bad. It's just not mine. It's not mine. All right, guys. Have an amazing Tuesday. Thank you, Courage. I greatly appreciate you um, for joining the show. I hope you have an amazing Tuesday. And I will see you here bright and early tomorrow morning. Have a good one.